All right, what up, boys? So listen, we got a few situations to uh, in, uh, to look into today. Number one, number situation number one here is we got the warrior talent trees. Thank God. Uh, it's been a while. It's been some time, but we've actually got them out. And then I'm going to look at some of the new abilities and uh, the stuff they've got uh, coming out for us. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at some of the new talents. And uh, as you can see here, we've got obviously the stances are coming back, it seems. So let's see this. Battle stance uh, increases critical strike chance of your abilities by 3% and reduces the effectiveness of movement and parrying effects on you by 15%. That's pretty good. I don't really think it's going to matter that much. Like, this is probably something that's more that, like you'd use whenever you're fighting a mage in like arena or something like that. Other than that, I don't really think it'd be that useful. And uh, let's see here defensive stance reduces all damage you take by 10 20% until uh, and all damage you deal by 10%. I'm glad they rebalanced this. Uh, right now, it's like the opposite, where like you... Uh, let me see if I pull this up. Uh, fuck, where is it? Oh, it's arms. Well, like, you deal 10%, 20% less damage, but you uh, you only you deal 20% less, and you only take 10% less. It's like, defensive stance now kind of sucks, so that's good. And uh, Berserker stance uh, makes it your damage auto attacks. It reduces effectiveness of fear, sap, and incap effects on you by 15%. I, I, I don't really think that's very good because you already have Berserker Rage, right? So, like, like this seems a little bit redundant. I don't know, like, maybe I'm crazy, but, like, I think that's kind of redundant. So, let's see here. It's not that good, yeah. It's like, why wouldn't you just always be in battle stance and, and have this instead? And so it's probably for PvP. Yeah, maybe. So you've obviously got like the, uh, you know, the, the usual suspects here. Uh, intervene or Second Wind. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, rallying Cry. We're getting that back. Siphoning Strikes. 5% Leech. That's really cool. I like that a lot. You get Shattering Throw or Bounding Stride. I like that. That's cool. War Machine. Uh, that's still fucking garbage. War Machine used to be amazing back whenever uh, it was Legion. And they just made it garbage, and it's still garbage now. I don't know why anybody would want more machine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the roar. This has been in the game before. You can either get rend or pain and gain, take damage. That's kind of a weird, uh, a weird decision right there. Uh, let, let's see what else do we have. Uh, massacre executes usable on targets below 35% or lower. Arms of the teeth. Strength equals 10% of your armor value. That's cool. I like that. Die by the sword, cruel strikes. Okay, let's see here. We're getting Bastion uh, Spear or Elysian Might or the instant damage. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow. So we're getting Signet of Tormented Kings as a baseline ability. That's fucking badass. Yeah, that's great. I'm happy about that. Uh, one handed weapon specialization gives you 10% leech. That is insane. If you got, so you'd have, you can get 15% base leech out of here? Oh my god. First enemy you uh, attack in combat is marked as your adversary. Okay, so that's a. Um, I guess that's probably for for like maybe just like parsing, basically. But like maybe that'd be good for arena. I, I don't really think so that much. Uh, you get more stamina. Shockwave, rumbling earth. I I don't know why shockwave. I I feel like they should they should just put these together. Like they should give shockwave something else. It's like more interesting. Like, maybe if the mobs are, like, next to each other, like, Shockwave uh, makes each mob that, like, gets hit by it do, like, a um, like an AoE around them. So it's, like, a compounding damage thing. That would be cool. Like, Rumbling Earth seems like it's, uh... It, it, it seems like kind of an L talent, because it was already baked into the ability beforehand. Uh, restores 20% health instantly, removes all diseases, and bleeds affecting you. Uh, I, I, I don't... I, I, I don't know. Uh, that's whatever. I don't think that's super cool. Avatar. And uh, let's see here. Damage of Thunderclap by 30%. Increases the cooldown. Okay, that's fine. So that, th yeah, this made like uh, Thunderclap like OP as fuck in BFA. I remember this. Uh, Thunderous Roar. Okay, that's good because now they can't call it Dragon Roar anymore because we have dragons in the game and then like dragons can't be warriors. So it's like, okay, this is a little bit awkward, right? So yeah, you've got Thunderous Roar now. Uh, dual wield specialization, Thunderous Aftershocks, Thunderous Roar knocks enemies down, causes two aftershocks. That's cool. I like that. And uh, yeah, all this stuff seems pretty much okay. Damage of Shield Slam, Max Rage is increased. Frothing Berserker, okay. I, I think some of these talents, like things like this, like crit chance, armor, 
uh, it, it, it's not like I don't think a lot of these are super cool, but some of them are okay. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the arms tree here. And so uh, damage of slam and whirlwind. Whirlwind also slams your primary target. This was really fucking good. Uh, let's see here. Critical strikes deal an additional 10% damage. Skull splitter. Overpower. D I, d I, I wish they would... Um, like, I, I think they should get rid of these types of talents. Like, overpower deals 10% more damage. Like, who gives a fuck about that? Like, I, I, I think it would be way cooler if they had something else besides this. The traits doesn't, don't feel special. Yeah, it's like, why not add in something that's more unique? Skull Splitter damages an enemy, cause deep wounds, and rends to expire 200% faster. That's really cool. Like, this is this is badass. Let's have more of that. Uh, deep wounds deals more damage, 50% more damage. This one's, I guess, okay, but still not super cool. Two charges. Oh, it, the Dreadnought talent. All right. Uh, let's see here. Overpowers 40% chance to respect the uh, re reset the cooldown. Immortal strike reduce the rage cost. Uh, I, that that's fine. Not amazing. Deep wounds and rends uh, last six seconds longer. That's boring. Uh, fatality mortal strike uh, against enemies above 30% health. A very high chance to apply fatality. I kind of like this. F fatality is really cool. Like this is actually an interesting uh, an interesting debuff to have. My crit uh, has chance for double damage shrug. Yeah, something like that. Or like a multi-strike component. Versatility, crit chance. Mastery. Uh, blade Storm, obviously. Uh, you've got a Unhinged. Oh, oh, right. This is the legendary effect. Uh, we've, we've had that for a while. Uh, sharpened Blades. Two-handed swords or axes. Your critical strike damage is increased by 20%. Using two-handed... Oh... So, like, basically the type of weapon that you use changes, like, what your damage is. So, like, maces or pole arms makes your uh, Colossus Smash deal more damage. and uh, Or makes your Colossus Smash uh, cause you to deal more damage and also uh, last 30% longer. That's cool. I like that. Sure. And let's see here. What's this? Void Storm ends. Oh, Merciless Bone Grinder. Yeah, this is already a, uh, this is a conduit right now in Shadowlands. I think this is a good conduit, by the way. I like this conduit. Uh, it changes your rotation. Uh, collateral damage, sweeping strikes ends. Your ex-whirlwind deals 10% extra damage. Um, I, I think that like you can really have like a, a pretty badass AOE spec if you have like improved sweeping strikes with like merciless bone grinder. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else besides that. Exhilarating blows. Moral strike is 15% chance to instantly reset its own cooldown. That was a uh, that was a legendary effect in Legion. It was called like the Gloves of Archivon or some shit, or it functioned similar to that. Uh, cooldown on pummel reduced by 1.5 seconds. Successfully interrupting an enemy increases damage deal then by 5%. Yeah, this used to be called, like, Rude Interruption and Mists of Pandaria. We had this before as well. Sudden Death does, obviously, what it would do. Overpower makes your Mortal Striker cleave do more damage. That's been in the game forever. Colossus Smash is actually on the tree. Wow. That's kind of surprising. This is, yeah, that, that's that's very interesting. Uh, Warbreaker, Test of Might, expires, your strength is increased by 1% for every 10 rage you spent. That was really good. Test of Might was a, uh, Azerite ability. Yeah, 12 second interrupt CD possible. Yeah, that's crazy. Arms without CS. Well, I'd be curious to see what it would be like, right? And then Cleave is there as well. Uh, cooldown for Cleave reduced by 2 seconds. That seems pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Anger Management, that works the same as it always does. Warbreaker as well replaces Colossus Smash. I, I personally, I think that it would be cooler if you just got rid of In For The Kill. I think In For The Kill is boring. And you just change it to, uh, you change it to Warbreaker or Test of Might. I, I think that's way more interesting than having Warbreaker and Colossus Smash be separate abilities on the tree. Warbreaker is too far down. Yeah, Warbreaker is really nice. Skull Banner. So they're bringing back Skull Banner. Increase the critical strike damage by 20% for party members within 20 yards of the War Banner. Last 10 seconds. That's fine. Uh, I feel like Skull Banner was... Uh, I will only like Skull Banner if it's off the GCD. Because I always felt like in Mists of Pandaria, whenever we had Skull Banner, 
I felt stupid and I felt like a cuck using a GCD to make everybody else do more damage. It's like, fuck, I, I don't want to do it. I want, yeah, p keep it off the GCD and I like it a lot. And then Exploiter, 50% more damage from Execute. So, do you know what the talent that we're looking for with Fury, right, is? You know what the talent is. What is the talent that we are looking for? We're looking for this one. You're going to love this. Trust me. So, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Juggernaut is in arms. Oh, shit. And oh, my God. This is what it used to be like, guys. You would stack this up so high, and you would just completely fucking destroy people. I hope they add it for Fury, too. God damn, that was fucking fun, man. That was so fucking fun back in Legion. I'm glad they're adding that back in. Uh, I, I do find it disappointing. It's like, why does it only stack up to 20 times? Like, what's the harm in letting it stack up to 99 times? Because it would be really cool if you could get it that high. Yeah, it was 99. It should be 99 again. Because if, if you can get... The thing is, like, if you can get 50 stacks of this debuff... Uh, of this buff, I feel like you deserve to fucking do ridiculous damage. Like, if you can find some, like, dumb fucking way that you can make it work, you should have some form of a reward for that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a hundred fucking percent. PvP to OP? No, it's not. You're not gonna execute all the time in PvP. Anyway, Arms Tree looks decent. I would say it looks decent overall. Uh, Fury Warrior Tree. Okay, here we go. Uh, Bloodthirst, Raging Blow. What a surprise. Enraged Regen, Improved Execute. No longer costs Rage, now generates 20 Rage. Okay, so that's... Um, Alright, that doesn't matter. Bloodthirst damage deals more damage. Wow, what an amazing talent. Uh, auto attacks now have no penalty from dual wielding during Enrage. Nobody cares about that. Uh, dual wielding one-handed weapons. Okay, single-minded fury. Auto attack damage with flurry. Okay, so you can auto attack way faster. Bloodthirst increases the critical strike chance of your next bloodthirst by 10%. Nobody cares about that. That's garbage. Uh, bloodthirst always enrages you the first time you strike a target. I, I, I don't know, like, those kind of suck. Uh, but there steals 40% increased damage to enemies below 35% uh, health. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck about Bloodthirst. Uh, Cold Steel Hot Blood. This was, like, the best fucking Azerite trait in, in, uh, BFA. So, that's cool. Uh, Cadence of Fujella. This used to be a Legion Legendary. It was a cloak. And there it is. We're getting Odin's Fury. Holy fucking shit. I, like, I like this. I think they should make it have an even larger range. Give it like a fucking 30-yard uh, range. Have it do like a massive fucking animation. Something cool like that? That'd be badass. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, what's this here? Auto attacks have a 50% chance to hurl your weapons at your target and three other enemies in front of you. Wait, what the fuck? Your auto attacks deal an additional 22% of damage. If you're 20 what the fuck? So you're, you're auto-attacking them, and you're throwing your weapons? Oh my god, it, it's like, yeah, it's like, uh, you're auto-attacking, you're proccing glaive throws. That's kind of cool. Uh, invigorating Fury, and Rage of Dreadnought, slash 20 minutes longer, uh, instantly heals you 20%. This is a PvP talent, pretty much, I would assume. Uh, Rampage, no surprise there. Rampage and greet. oh, Frenzy, right? So this is for single target. Uh, Rampage causes you to become enraged, and Rampage damage increased by 20%. Okay, that's pretty much what it is now. Go Recklessness, and, uh, okay, so Recklessness is the same as it is now. Um... Anger Management or Reckless Abandon. Okay. Uh, I think Reckless Abandon is way cooler because the charge from... Uh, uh, the, the charge from Raging Blow is just cool. Like, that's really all there is to it for me. I like Reckless Abandon because it's cool. Uh, let's see here. Depths of Insanity. This is just kind of fucking boring. I, I think this should be... Uh, uh, th they should change this. This is fucking garbage. Uh, I, I would love if they took... So... I really like the current tier bonus. Like, I, I really like how you can proc, uh, how you can proc Rampage, or sorry, Recklessness, with doing Raging Blow. And I would love if they took Depths of Insanity out, or they took, like, maybe this one out, or one of these, and they gave us the tier set bonus instead. 
That would be cool. Make it so execute increases rec duration or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Uh, let's see here. Improved Raging Blow, 20% chance instantly really start its own cooldown. Okay, cool. Whirlwind. Uh, okay, so that's Meat Grinder or Meat Cleaver, whatever it is. Uh, cruelty. Uh, Titan's Grip. Okay, so you actually have to spec pretty far into Titan's Grip. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Onslaught. Nobody ever gave a shit about that. Yeah, like nobody ever used Onslaught. Uh, Whirlwind deals 15% more damage. And now you're... Oh, oh, this is Meat Cleaver. Oh, so Whirlwind doesn't do this at a baseline at all. Eh. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like with a lot of these talents, like some of them are really, really cool. Like I really like some of these talents, but I don't like how some of the aesthetic with these talents is like, hey, you had this? Now we're taking it away from you, and you have to click a button to have it. I, I don't know, you guys see kind of what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I hope that, I mean, this is, like, very iterative, right? And so it's, like, the first time we've ever seen it. But, like, I don't like to see, you know, like, you, you take something out of the game, then you just give it back to people, and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, like, I, I want to see more abilities like Odin's Fury. Uh, I, I want to see more things like, uh, well, where are some of the other ones that I think were cool? Um, like Ravager, right? Ravager's fucking badass. Uh, let's see. Are there any of these that are actually interesting? Uh, Siege Breaker dealing more damage. Like, this is just the Painbringer Legendary. Ravager's duration increased by two seconds. That's cool. Uh, that's a lot for Ravager, by the way. It's like twice as long, basically. Uh, over... Oh, over 12 seconds. Holy shit. Uh, I didn't think it lasted that long. It didn't used to last that long. Uh, like, this one, is, like, this is a good example of a talent that's really good. So, like, it's not that Blizzard can't make good talents. And it's not really, like, oh, Blizzard fucking, like, they, they made this talent in Mr. Pandaria, to be fair. It was called Rude Interruption. But, like, if you look at this, like, cooldown on Pummel is reduced. And on top of that, in interrupting a spell gives you a 5% buff. So, now you've just incentivized players to play the game properly. I think that's one of the things, like, Final Fantasy does really well with, like, the, you know, like the weakness debuffs that you get if you stand in things. That's super important, in my opinion, because that makes people want to do the mechanics properly and not be able to prioritize, you know, taking more damage uh, gives you more rage. I will say, though, I think that they should add that as a talent. I think it would be fucking badass if, like, down here at the bottom of the talents, it said something like, damage that you take causes you to generate rage because that was so fucking fun back in the day, because you would have all these cool strategies where like, oh, like you'd stand in some debuff and take extra damage, and then that would give you like more, more rage so you could do more damage. Uh, I thought that was cool. Yeah, let, let, let's see here. Monk Karma, yeah, Monk Karma cheese basically. Yeah, I thought, yeah, it's an actual Berserker. Yeah, stand in the fire DPS higher, except literally. It was fucking awesome. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Prot Warriors. Ignore Pain, Revenge, Devastate, Demo Shout, Last Stand, uh, Brace for Impact, okay, that's not that big of a deal, uh, Unwavering Focus, increases your rage generation by 6%, this one's pretty good, uh, Healed for 30% of the damage dealt by Deep Wounds, this is again a talent, or uh, sorry, uh, Soulbind right now, or a Conduit, I have so many fucking things going on. Bolster is pretty good, uh, I feel like Bolster is probably like, it's a really good talent if you understand the value of critical blocks. Uh, dodging an attack uh, deals uh, physical damage to the attacker. Um, oh, blocking deals... Oh, wait. Blocking an attack deals 20% physical damage to the attacker. That's fucking badass. I love that. Like, I, I remember... Bro, like, do y'all remember, like, those fucking... Uh, like, you had, like, the Sporgar shield in, in BC... You had, like, the fucking, uh, the, the engineering shield in Vanilla WoW. Like, those were so fucking cool, man. Like, it reminds me, like, that was the coolest thing about prop paladins, is they had a lot of reflective damage. That's a talent in Wrath. Uh, is it? Fuck, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, improved Heroic Throw, uh, Brutal Vitality. I think they should make it to where Heroic Throw, uh, just does way more damage. Percentage of damage you deal deals to your active ignore pain. I feel like this is, again, 
like nobody's ever going to go with improved heroic throw. I, I just I can't see a value in that outside of like keeping a rogue from stealthing again. But like, what's the point? Uh, punish uh, deals twenty percent increased damage. Okay, whatever. Executes damage is. Oh wow, you get juggernaut. You get ninety nine stacked juggernaut as prot. Holy shit. Execute increases damage dealt by execute by thirty by three percent. Second to ninety nine times. Oh my god. Fuck yeah. I think we're gonna go prod. Yeah, it's like bro, like imagine you got five people alive, the boss is at 10% health, and you're just ramping up those fucking like 78 stacks of that debuff, and you're just fucking chunking that boss for like half of half a percentage of its health every GCD. God, that's so fucking badass. Uh, Ravager, obviously, I think Ravager's cool. Ravager should make it to where you have some sort of a DR as well, like if you're standing in it, I think that would be cool. Uh, let's see here. Spell block, you're able to block spells against you for 14 seconds. Uh... That's kind of cool. I don't really know how I feel about that one. Indomitable maximal health is increased by 10%, and every 10 rage you spend heals you for 1%. That, gentlemen is insanely fucking good. We had this in Mists of Pandaria, and we had this in, uh, Legion, with the, uh, with, with Manoroth's Bloodletting Manacles. That was so fucking good. You have it now? Oh, is it not as good? We have this now? I didn't even know that. I haven't even played Prot this whole expansion. Let's see here. Outburst. Uh, consuming 30 rage increases the stack of, uh, of, of seeing red. Transforms at one stacks, causing your shield slam to be 200% more effective and granted more pain. Uh, that's inter I, I, that's interesting. Uh, I, I, that, I did, yeah, it's kind of cool. When health is brought below 35% health, you deal 100% less damage uh, until canceled, and healing you receive is increased by 100%. Uh, I think this is trash. I don't like this. I, 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 in general, don't like automated death save mechanics. I feel like Paladins, whenever they had Argent Defender that you had to activate, it was way better. Uh, like, because, like, DKs already had... Uh, DKs have Purgatory. Read it again. When your health is brought below 35%, you take 100% less damage until canceled, and healing you receive is increased by 100%. Okay. You said deal? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't... Uh, sure, but you're right, I was wrong about that. But I, I still feel the same way about it. I, I just, I don't know. I, I think, like, automated death save mechanics are super cheesy. I, I hate cauterize. I feel like we already have cheat death with rogues. I, I don't want to get into a situation where, like, everybody has some form of a death save. It makes it mandatory? Yeah, like, something like this is effectively mandatory. Uh, not a fan of that one. Uh, bleed damage and deep wounds is dealt by 15%. Uh, execute a 30% chance to, to deal it. Damage you take. Okay, shield wall. I really liked how... I, I remember back in Cataclysm, Thunderclap would apply Rend. Like, I, I, I wish that they had that still. I thought that was really cool. So where you can, like, keep aggro on things in that way, too. They do? They have it? Oh, have I not gotten to it yet? Yeah, maybe I haven't. Let's see here. Uh, Demo Shout. Booming Voice. Okay, that's fine. I actually... Uh, I really like Demo Shout. It's on... Oh, it's on General Class Tree. Let me go ahead and look at that real quick. Blood and Thunder. Uh, increases damage of your Thunderclap. Oh, wow. I didn't see that. Holy shit. Increases the damage of Thunderclap by 10%. Whenever you Thunderclap a target affected by your rend, you also affect five nearby targets with rend. Should be everybody. But sure. Yeah, that's fucking badass. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy about that. I must have uh, just kind of like glanced over that or I didn't read it entirely. And uh, 50% more damage when I successful dodges. Made it cost no rage. That's okay. Uh, I really like Booming Voice as a talent. I think it's cool. Uh, taunt because it makes it makes demo shout it turns demo shout into like a, a decision making thing right where like you can either use demo shout defensively or offensively I, I think that's cool it, it makes it more dynamic now taunt all enemies within 10 yards to, ch to attack you I think challenging shout should be an optional ability I, I feel like it's kind of a boring uh, a, a boring mandatory ability like it should be like over here or something like that or over there 
Taunts on enemies, interrupts all spell casting, Prince of from spell school. Like a, a second interrupt, making challenging shout a second interrupt, that is a lot cooler. Like, I, I guess, like, whenever you add it in with the second interrupt, that does make it better. Should be baseline. Yeah, I think it should be probably baseline too. Revenge damage uh, increased by 10%. Increased damage your next thunderclap by 25%. Yeah, I think we've already had this one before too. Uh, heavy repercussions, gain 2% haste uh, for each enemy or ally within 10 yards of the 10% haste. That was always, in general, like the one that I would go with back in BFA. Uh, stamina and armor. Shield charge. Charge, in, charge to an enemy, dealing 200% attack power uh, to it and 50% damage to all enemies in 10 yards. Also stuns the primary target. So is this effectively um, like dragon charge? Uh, the PvP talent dragon charge? Because I, I feel like that's kind of what it's like. Reprisal legendary? Oh, okay. Champions Bulwark, Shield Charge, Grant you Shield Block until cancelled. Uh, Revenge, Endurance, and additional 300 Rage. Clearly not balanced, uh, or like, uh, you know, it, it's not uh, properly stated there. Uh, it's from Glad Stance. It was a long time ago. Oh my god. Yeah, it was a really long time ago. Uh, anyway, so the talents. Uh, what do I think about it? How do I feel about the talents? I think that there are some really interesting, cool talents, like this Improved Challenging Shout. Uh, I, I think also, uh, you know, being able to get your, your Ignore Pain back, uh, stuff like this, uh, Juggernaut. I, I think, like, the Prot Tree is, in my opinion, the most interesting. Because it feels like you can, you can build for a certain type of gameplay, and it gives you, like, more tools in your toolkit to use in different ways. So I really like that. Uh, overall, the talents are, I think, kind of hit and miss. Like some of them, as I said before, like Bloodthirst damage increased by 15%. Like they should make it to where Bloodthirst heals for more. Because I think Bloodthirst healing for more makes it more interesting. Because that actually changes, like there would be people trying to like solo or doing like solo PvP where that talent should make a difference. Like it, it, in my mind, in the talent tree that they have, Every single talent that you choose should be a decision. There should never be like a, okay, you just pick this because it's 15% more damage. Right? The general tree is best. I think that there are a lot of really good, uh, lot of really good things with this tree. You know what I would also really like for them to add back? Improved overpower from Wrath of the Lich King. If you overpowered a target while they were casting a spell, it lowered their spell power on the next cast or for the next five seconds by like 20% and it stacked twice. That was fucking insane. Because you could apply that shit with Mortal Strike and it affected healing as well. It made arms so much better. Unrelenting Assault. Yeah, there it is. Like, that would be a really, really fucking cool talent. I would love that. So yeah, it was broken. I know, it was great. And, uh, yeah, and we also get Odin's Fury back. I, I think that, I mean, this is a talent tree that's going to change a lot over time. So, I, I, I think this is a really good first draft. As I said before, I think this is such a boring talent. This it, it just is it's so, so boring. Like, please get rid of this. Just make this baseline. We already have it. Like, I, I, I really just, I don't want to see, like, base abilities, it, base abilities that you have now. I don't want to see them take functionality away from the base ability and then say, hey, you need to, you need to talent into it now. Check the things under shield wall. Sure. Uh, let's see here. Uh, shield block lasts longer. Attacks have a chance to make your execute, next execute. Do no rage. Oh, sudden, sudden death. Anger management shield wall gains one additional charge and grants 50% of its effect to all party members. That's like the Dragon Soul Legendary, except for it's all party and not raid. Um, or Dragon Soul uh, tier set. Uh, shield slam generates five rage and reduces the main cooldown on shield wall by five seconds. I, I feel like that one's probably just better. Uh, let's see here. Block chance by uh, 6%. Block value by 15%. I feel like block value is like just... Uh, it's, it's boring. Uh, cause you can't, like, I would love it if block value was a stat on gear. Like, I, I, this is like, maybe like, you know, I, I really like PoE. So, it would be really cool to me if there were a lot of, uh, a, a lot of abilities and things like that in the game. 
and like gear in the game that had more than like two stats on it. Like if I go back, for example, and I look at like some of my old gear, uh, like let me see if I can find something that's a good example. Like, you know, you have like Zalato and like all these other like badass things where you can have like gems in them and, and like a bunch of other stuff in them as well. I would love if gear had three stats on it. And they added in new stats, like uh, shield block rating, uh, shield block value, like add that stuff back into the game. Uh, give people more uh, more options. The fuck is that bank space? It, it, it's 16 years playing the game. What do you expect? New Year does have more gems as far as I can recall? I hope so. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Juggernaut for Prots only 20 times, it's wrong in the tooltip. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hope that they just make it to 99 times. I feel like, it, again, if you have a situation where you go above 20, I think it's really, like, this was really cool. Like, who gives a fuck about, like, oh, wow, it's, like, not perfectly balanced. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things that aren't perfectly fucking balanced. Like, Death Knights have Death Grip. Death Grip's fucking OP. Like, nobody else has Death Grip. It's insane. Come on, let, 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 let us have a little bit of fun, man. Let me pop off just a little bit. Can you do this calculator, make a build? Uh, I might, not not today. I don't, I don't, I, I'm just gonna wait to see what people come up with after time. So, uh, you bitch about balance all the time though? I I, I think that I, I do bitch about balance a lot. Yeah, for sure. But like, this is like, these are like fringe situations. Like, I'm not talking about like a class that just does more damage on a baseline. Like being in execute, in execute for that long on a boss fight is very uncommon. Like, these are, like, these are fringe 1% situations. Like, the only time that you ever really had that happen was, like, whenever the raid was wiping and, and, like, you were about to, like, die. And I think that's really cool, where it's, like, you're able to, like, kind of pull things out at the very end, right? How, like, uh, uh fucking, what's it called? Ret Paladins have, like, that, uh, retribution talent where they deal more damage if somebody dies. You can get Condemn and Execute from 100% to 80% too? Fuck yeah. Prop PP will be stupid, Insane CC and Juggernaut, so much stuff for my main warrior now. I hope they just get rid of, like, I, I actually think, uh, I am of the mindset that I wish they just took every prot set, every prot class out of Arena entirely. I have never played, in my 15 years of playing World of Warcraft, I have never played against a prot team in Arena and enjoyed the game. I have hated it every single time. Prot fundamentally, like tanking fundamentally in WoW, does not fit with PvP. Now, with Battlegrounds, and with like, especially Flag Battlegrounds, of course you should have a tank. But I'm talking about Arena. I think that in Arena, you should either be able to queue DPS, DPS tank, or DPS, DPS healer you should not be able to queue healer DPS tank. It should be one or the other. Uh, what prot were? Yeah, uh, that's dumb. Might as well take healers. No. Uh, playing against... Uh, I There have been many arena games that I have played against healers, and the way that healers are designed is not explicitly to just completely fuck you over and annoy you like fucking prot classes are. No. Prot sucks. It shouldn't be an arena. It overly complicates arena for no fucking reason. It's annoying, and every single time that Prot is at the top of the ladder, it's because the season is busted. It's garbage. Take it out. Make the game easier. Make it more simple. There's no reason that we should have Prot classes queuing arena. Yeah, heroes are killable. Tanks almost unkillable. Yeah, I would say so. Significant damage reduction on tanks make it less shit. I think you just shouldn't be able to queue it, period. Solve the problem entirely. Uh, they brought back Old Surrender to the Madness. Yeah, I mean, I think they're not gonna do that because it was just so overpowered. Yeah, just just get tanks out of arena. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, just, just take tanks out of arena. Problem solved. Do you think ARP was a good stat? They should add it back. Um... It is and it's not. Like, there are some good things about it, but there's also, like, bad things about it, too. Like, it, it's hard for me to say, like, whether it's, like, 100% a good thing or not. What's this trash take? Prots and Arena add depth? Yeah, I know. Depths of insanity. Yeah, it, it's, like, depths of, like, me disliking the game. Like, again, like, wh whatever you think about them, 
I think that if you if you asked a hundred people that did arena regularly, do you find playing against a tank fun? Over 90 of them would say no, and the other 10% of them, or 10 of them, would be playing tanks. The trash. It sucks to play against. It's fucking annoying. No fucking shot. Just take tanks out of arena. They're garbage. Let me give final thoughts on the uh, on warrior talents. Warrior talents in general, I think, are pretty good. Uh, there are some talents that I think are S tier talents, some that are like C tier talents. Hopefully, Blizzard's able to innovate on this and improve it over time. In general, I'm happy. I look forward to seeing what they do.